The Ocean Hotel is almost 200 years old and has housed naturalist Charles Darwin and author Lewis Carroll, among those who have stayed there. It boasted 96 bedrooms with easy high street access and amazing views of Sandown Bay and its six mile stretch sand. The Ocean Hotel has been left in good order when it was sold, in the belief it was to become a luxury care facility. It was bought by the Carloran Group, along with neighbouring Kings Bar and a hotel in Shanklin. The group announced its plans to develop the site, but instead it lays empty. Hello and welcome to Stop on Places and today, oops, we are, we've come across an abandoned hotel on the Isle of Wight, which looks wide open to me, um, literally straight off the seafront. There is one next door, uh, however I can seem to find a way in there. I'm using my lapel mic and also I'm wearing the poppy as it is Remembrance Sunday today. And uh, we are going to see if we can find a way inside the building without being spotted as there are working on the road. People are out this morning, so wish me luck. Here we are, venturing into the building. Oh yeah, literally. Straight in to the Ocean Hotel. There we go. So yeah, I've literally been staying right next door to this building. Um, I don't think I'll go upstairs, as if you look at the ceilings. They are a bit worse for wear, although this is an absolutely incredible building. There's even a swimming pool outside, which we are going to take you over to. But yeah, it does smell a bit in here. It looks like they started to do work. Apparently this building, um, work. the reason it looks like this is because the builders that were in here, the company, they started to do this place up, which is why it looks like this. And then they ran out of money. So they couldn't afford to finish the job. So it's been left in this half finished condition. Still abandoned, forgotten and derelict. This massive, massive historic hotel. It sits on the seafront in Sandown and it's just been left to the elements, left forgotten. But yeah, this place is, does look a bit like a death trap. Um, that's if you venture away from the main area of course which is here so this this area looks safe enough but we've got them grand staircases and a lift over there but yeah it does look like a building site half finished building site you even still got a clock on the wall look you can see where the wires they all put up when they was doing the construction work and they just left it which is the reason why this place looks like a construction site is because it was when it was last being used, it was being used as a construction site. But uh, yeah, I've got all the old fridges here. Look, so this would have been, these would have been from the. Uh, well, this has been a dispenser. I wonder if we can open it. That's a fridge there. Yeah. These look like they were re more recently installed, so these might have been put in by the construction workers before they ran out of money. We've got that beautiful. Beautiful fireplace there. Absolutely stunning. Now I'm freaking out a bit in this place because it looks like the sort of place where a homeless person would settle down. But look at this. Got all this incredible tile in here. You see the camera's broke, look. So that's not going to be any. But look at these features, guys. Look at that with the chandelier and the fireplace. Grand staircases and everything. That is incredible. Turn this up just a bit. Some photos of that on the DSLR. Look at the lifts. I bet this would have been an incredible hotel at one point. Yeah, all the cameras are just inactive. They've been broken. Wires have been cut. Yeah, there's both stepping on a fire. Too much glass everywhere not to make any noise as well. That's the trouble. 
these floors do not feel safe in here to be honest and this is downstairs you've got all the uh, all the equipment here from the from the kitchen all the uh, all the cookers and fridges all left in what looks like to be what was a function room at one point you can see where they put all the new pan line in new yeah new smoke detectors and everything new smoke detectors new fireplaces and it's just and then they run out of money but it's a big it is a big job so you can see why the uh, you can see why the contractors run out of money for this place because it is a big job and it would have cost uh, would have cost a lot to get all the materials to build with especially considering what they've been using yeah, we're back by here again now guys Nice flooring again. I'm not sure whether this was the kitchen by here. It looks like it was. Got where the extractor used to be up there. And now there's nothing. We've got a back area over here as well. Just going a little wander over. Uh, it looks like nature's began to creep into this place now. Just a storage room in there. Yeah, this is the uh, Ocean Hotel on the Isle of Wight. Now I know uh, Vault's done this place. He hasn't, <clears throat> it was at night. I'm here in the day showing you all the best features of the place. And what I do, Vault will just show people anything. I want to show the best features of places. Like when you've got a grand fireplace or grand staircase and chandeliers and things like that. I want to show all the best features of these buildings, to be fair. All these incredible structures. And the Raven Hotel was pretty impressive, but this looks even more impressive. You can see where the paint has just dried on the floor there. So these stairs, we're going to test these first. So we're testing the stairs, guys. Especially since I'm alone in here. And these floors seem like they were fitted later by the uh, <clears throat> mirror's been smashed. There's seven years bad luck for someone. And the lift just keeps going up. Got the next flight of stairs here. I'm guessing. So this was fitted after, but there's some flooring where it's the older flooring is where you've got to be careful. So this flooring was fitted by the builders when the place was being done. This was being redeveloped before they ran out of money. You can see the chandelier down there, guys. Look at that. You know, if you look at the contrast between the flooring, you see where the new flooring starts and the old flooring is. Now this bit seems solid, but if I trek down there, that's where it starts to get a bit dodgy, I think. But we're going to test the floorboards. This bit seems solid. There are going to be some spongy bits, I can imagine. See where they've wrapped it all up. This was going to be brand new, all brand, all newly done, and they never finished it. But there is black mold in here as well, and that's the stuff shit you got to be, be mindful of as well. This is soft, so I'm just going to have a quick look in here. Got like washing machines, tumble dryers, and things in there. And look at that, that ceiling, guys. Even this floor is lethal, but the further floors up seem I'm just testing all the floors to make sure they're, they're sturdy. That looks like it's been put in more recently, but then if you look at them floors, they're all black, they're rotting, those are. But these, you've got this piece, that's a newer piece of floor that they've put into an older room. You've got the older flooring in here as well. And you can just see the ceiling where you've got all the black mould taking over. Now, if the floors look feel don't feel safe to me, I will not walk on them. In my interest in my own safety, I will not walk on any floors that feel unsafe. But this, this bit feels solid. But you can see some parts where, it, like in that room, with these holes in it, it looks like it's starting to rot. 
and then see like this bit this is why this is like the only other floor that we can really go up to because you've got all this here up there look, look at the floors upstairs so we can't really go up there this door feels solid I'm just feeling everything just to make sure that could come down though that's the only problem with that got a bathtub in there I don't want to walk on that because I don't know what's under that it doesn't look safe though I don't know whether I should walk over this really yeah we're going to walk this way guys we've got all these rooms in here there's a lot of pigeons in here though you can see the sea out there look at that let me get a quick photo of that guys seems pigeons have made their homes in here now got this staircase here Look at the floors though, this does not feel safe, this bit in particular, but the stairs, and these ones are not like the others, the others were absolutely solid, these are not completely solid, and you've got a contrast between floors, so you see, there's floors with holes in them there, and there's floors without, so there's some more solid floors, you can see a lot of it have been prepped for construction work, this building is massive, but considering the state of some of the floors out, I can only see us covering her. That feels a bit more soft. And this bit's a bit soft there. You can see there's a dumb, what looks like to be a dumb waiter up there, so we're going to test the floors here. This seems solid. She's got a dumb waiter here. I believe this was a dumb waiter. Then you've got a different, so they were going to remove some floors put floors in, these look like newer planks so they were going to put the put new flooring in there you can see a dumb waiter there as well and that, that is where they carry food down to the different floors with one of these you get these in some restaurant, older restaurants as well and hotels where they put in a, li a lift to take the food to the different rooms some restaurants where they've got a kitchen upstairs or they've got the restaurant upstairs and they send the uh, they send the food between the different floors. Yeah, we're going to venture down here because it seems the further down you go, the safer the floors are, from what I've gathered. I don't think we've seen this bit, to be honest. Ah, there's a different, completely different area here. There's another door. It's a bicyclist helmet there. So we're going to squeeze through here. I don't want to drop my puppy either. <laughs> I want to represent. Uh, want to remember the circuit board and everything there with it, it like that looks quite new they would have set that up more recently but it looks like a bit of some sort of staff area in here and this bit's on the ground floor so uh, it seems more well it looks like this is the ground floor anyway even though the floors are a bit dodgy in here a lot of work stuff, so I think, yeah, you can see with them signs there, this is where the builders would have set up, health and safety, so yeah, they would have set up um, the builders when they were in here, I'm pretty sure they set up in this area, and you've got all the lockers over there, look, and they would have stored all their, all their work vests and things during their lunch break and their safety equipment, but yeah, look at that floor there, guys. That's bad. That's very bad. Some sort of flood in this place. This bit looks like it's had a bit of a fire, although this could be just rot and decay, black mould. You got a shot of the floor there. Let's see. I do like to get the DSLR in some of these places, guys, but I don't. Uh, doing that means I have to stay in a certain place for for a longer period of time rather than moving about. What is that? Someone's left the bath running. The taps working the other. Oh, good God. Toilet's just leaking. So the taps still work. 
Oh my god. Huh. That's something you see every day. There's yeah, just a storeroom here, guys. Big box of Cronenberg. We've got a filing cabinet there. Sort of safe style filing cabinet. Someone's mask can like, hang up there. Pretty relevant. So yeah, someone at the toilet is just leaking everywhere. So there's still water supply to this place. That tells you something, doesn't it? Another storeroom in here. That's a safe there. Proper safe. I want to get a photo of that. So you've got like concrete and stone floors, and you've got wooden floors. When I'm on concrete floors, I'm not worried at all. But we've got a kitchen in here. There's a lot of midges and things in here. Coffee machine. Ah. Coffee machine. Loads of cups and things in here. Nest Cafe, is it? Nest Cafe is era. Kenko. All the coffee. <laughs> Cups, you've got Earl Grey tea there as well. Having a nice cup of Earl Grey in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna venture, see if we can venture through this area. It does seem a bit flooded, but I've, that's why I've got water resistant boots on. Only trouble is. The bathroom in here as well. This ceiling is really coming through. Oh my days. Oh my days. So do these taps work? They do. The water works in here. <laughs> That's why the toilet's leaking everywhere. The systems and everything are still active. The toilets are intact as well. That is a surprise. Don't often see that. Hello. <laughs> ah. That's the uh, cleaning. Yeah, all the water still runs in here. So the toilet's still flush there. Yeah, toilet still work. No way. <laughs> that is mad. Toilets are still working. And this place is falling to bits. You've still got the water running in here. This is why there's water leaking, because this pipe's broken. And it's just... Oh, tiling in these toilets, though. Oh, wow. So your rhinos, they're still leaking as well. That's why. Jesus Christ, oh, the toilet water going all over my camera. This is toilet water I'm walking through. Great. There's Christmas decks in here as well. This area. Is this where they stored all? Ah, there's the bottom of the dumb waiter as well. I'm just walking through Christmas decorations as well. She's got more storage through here as well. This place just goes on, guys. I don't like having cobwebs in my hair though. This is another reason why I don't like to stay and put for in places like this for too long. I like to keep moving. We're back through here again where we were earlier. Back to the stairs. We've cut done a circle down. So we will attempt the other side. But I want to get some photos on the DSLR. We've got the lift here. That's not going to work, obviously. Yeah, see? There was, it did have a power source, but there's no power source to the building. The only thing that's still working is the water. We've got a chair there. I want to get some really nice photos of this part. This part's my, this part's my favourite with the good shot down there. Looking at the uh, grand staircase. And then you've got the... Uh, the chandelier, the fireplace and all there. So you head back up these stairs, we know they're safe now. So we've already walked up them. 
So these stairs are solid. I'm going to walk back up here. You see the fire exit signs there. So yeah, we're not going to be able to get across this entire building. But... Oh my god. Right by the street. <sighs> my days. We're literally right up top now, I think. Where the builders started to redevelop it. We've got a bar up here, wow. Look at that. So this is where all the builders were. This is where all the cabling is on the floor. And this is where a lot of the building work was taking place. So, that means this is all new flooring. All of this here is what the builders fitted. You can see where they've stripped it all out here. And they've started stripping the old flooring. I think that's old floor in there. I've got a feeling. There's a mirror there, but someone smashed it again. Another, another person who's got seven years black, bad luck or unlucky soul who's given himself 14 years bad luck. Huh. Him or herself, shall we say. We've got the balconies out here. You can see the sand down pier over there, look. You can see all the boats out there with the cliffs. Absolutely incredible. Emergency eye wash station. So yeah, the builders are starting on this floor. You can tell. We've got all the, that's dangerous. All nails sticking out there. So these floors, that's concrete, isn't it? Yep. Okay, it's not. That felt soft. Fridge in here as well. All toilets through here. And you've got all this up here as well. So I don't know what. I think it's further up that had the fire. And there's the lift as well, on this side. Oh yeah, you can see where which area had the fire. There's another, what looked like to be a bar there. And you can see, up from here, there's no roof. So that is bad. See a little pathway down there. So yeah, we carry on down this way. Now there's literally there's up there. It doesn't seem like there's a floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick to the staircases. This floor looks unsafe. The room here. Though. That's why I'm pressing down on the floor like this each time. And there's just a lamp in there. And that was worth trekking over there, wasn't it? So we've got up here. Yeah, we've got the circus there, look. <laughs> cool. Just gonna traipse up here. We've got let's see look. Got some of them in old style fancy lights on the wall. They have in hotels, and you can see we were literally above the fire damaged area. Right here, there's the roof. Look, you can see the sea through it. Oh, my days! Oh, and there's pigeons in here as well. Yeah, there's buildings on this floor as well, by the looks. There's another floor as well. This is insane, guys. Absolutely insane. Whoa. And you can see the street out there as well. In Sandbank. Yeah, beautiful. 
This has been seen better days, that end over there. But the builders have made a start there. This isn't solid at all. Yeah, I've showed you some of the rooms as well. They're mostly empty, to be honest. So, we're going to have a look at the stairs. We know the stairs are solid. And then we're going to get some photos of the bar. We're going to get some then of the chandelier as well, then as well. Okay. So, we're going to head up here. All this timber framing. I can't believe it just keeps going up, to be honest. You got that stained glass there. Wow. Stained glass windows. Oh, pigeon. And they just pulled or ripped everything out of here, but it looks. We're just well above the, the ladder going out to the roof, but we're not going to go on it. So, those floorboards aren't safe. You see, I'm just going to see if I can get around, show you up there. That leads out onto the roof. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's fire damage in this building. So we are not going to go on the roof. I know people that would, but I'm not one of those people. And they've got more rooms down there, but most of them are stripped anyway. So we're gonna get some shots on the DSLR now, guys. So thank you all for watching this video of the abandoned Ocean Hotel, I think with the ladder leading up to the roof at the, in the background is a good place to end off this video. Uh, we ventured across the moderately most safe parts of this building that we can. A lot of it is uh, the floorboards are too risky. They, I felt them, they were creaking. They, were, they were, felt like they were bowing under my feet. So, and I've had experience where I went through a floor in Bradford. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. So I'm not gonna chance any floors that I do not feel are safe enough for me to walk on. And, but this has been a pretty incredible explore. Uh, there's a lot it's got chandeliers, stained glass, all the more interesting features I like to show you. I don't like to just walk around empty rooms. I know Vault will do things like that, but I'm not that guy. So I'm just going to take you around, show you all the best features, show you all the interesting parts of the building. I used to just show everything, but not me anymore. I'll show all the interesting features of the building, then I'll end off the video. But I thank you all for watching today, guys. It's been an interesting explore. Pretty massive place that is fire damaged as well, just to point out. And I will see you all in the next video. Okay, so just thought. Just thought, wait a minute, there's a pool. And we haven't seen it. So, I thought I'd quickly, whilst we're in the grounds, have a little walk over, have a look at the swimming pool at the uh, Ocean Hotel. Although technically, it's called the Ocean Hotel, it's not on the ocean, it's on the English Channel. <laughs> so, it's on the channel. I mean, this hotel, there's a lot more to it, but yeah, it's got, it's, then it's going over to it, so it's... Is it worth is it worth that? Yeah, we're gonna have a look a quick look at the pool. Whilst we're here. There's more to this place, but the rest of it just seems overly stripped, so it's not really worth me uh trekking all through to get to stripped areas, but we're walking along the grounds of the building now to show you this massive swimming pool. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, one last thing I thought before we, uh, before we end off the video, we did end off the video, but I'll put that after this, got the pump house over there. So here's the other rooms, so there's a separate section to this hotel, but led out over there. Then you've got this room pool here. Look at that. Outdoor swimming pool. Pretty much it now guys, here's the swimming pool, this has been the Ocean Hotel.